Hi everybody, I hope you were all doing well. There are so many interesting tags and Q&As going around and I've missed some, but I do want to do the Two of Owls six questions. And I will link his channel below. I'm sure you know it, but if by chance you don't know his channel, you can check it out and you'll love it. <laughs> so the first question is, uh, what is your preferred method of shuffling a tarot deck? And, uh, well, I, actually I do it two different ways. I mean, I usually do the standard overhand, but a lot of times, depending on the deck, if it's thick like this one or if it's a large deck, I, I kind of just do it in an underhanded, well, like an underhand shuffle because I can hold on to them better and they don't go flying out. So that is what I've been doing lately. Okay. Next question, how many people do you think you've read for less than 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 200 or more? And I'm not really sure, but if we're just specifically talking about tarot, I'm going to say 50 or less because I really think that it, it's probably a less amount of people, but, but I've done several readings for those people. Okay, so let's just leave it at that. And, okay, would you consider tarot to be a casual hobby, a passion, or a profession? It is absolutely a passion, and I would love it to become a profession. And something, boy, I've been, I've been tr sort of doing, trying and, and not doing so well with that this year, but it is something I would like to really step into more this year, is to make tarot um, uh, more of a profession for me. Okay, if you were to make your own tarot or oracle deck, what would it look like and what would the theme be? Um, well, I think what I would like to do is have a deck that was in the art deco period, a tarot deck, um, probably a subtle but, you know, um, rich palette and an attention to detail that would really magnify the beauty of that era. That's what I think I would do. Okay, next question. Oh gosh, choose one. Marseille, Waitsmith, Foth, or Lenormand. And uh, that's a really tough choice because even though I started um, early on, I, I mostly read with the writer Waitsmith type decks, I have come to love the Marseille. And I also want to make a note that I have a lot of decks, um, actually such as the Tildwick, which if you look at it, it has, even though it's very unique, it does have a writer weight base. But when you look at it, uh, you'll see that um, Justice is 8 and Strength is 11. And that is not normally aligned with writer weight Smith. And then my Vision Quest Tarot, which I like so very much, is really um, aligned, I would say, more with the Thoth decks and my Alchemical Terror, which you all know how much I appreciate this deck. Uh, another deck there, I would say this one is a little more aligned with Marseille. And again, um, uh, Strength is 11, Justice is 8. Okay, so these decks maybe don't really fit into any of those categories completely. But okay, so all that having been said, if I really had to choose just one, I guess I would just say Rider Waite Smith, the majority of my decks would be aligned with that system. So, okay, um, let's see what else here. Okay, I guess this is the last question and it says, recall your, recall your first time using tarot. Okay, now before I had been using tarot, I had been reading, and I still do, uh, with a bridge deck. Um, and I was able to get very good readings for myself and others. I just love reading with a bridge deck, okay? So uh, the person I was seeing at the time gave me a tarot deck and, and this he had given me the Visconti, it's the Golden Visconti Tarot. And when I first received the deck, I have to say I was a little intimidated because I had, I had already learned the 52 cards in the bridge deck and I thought, wow, 78, can I learn them? And there's pictures, I didn't think I could do it. But the truth was I was able to get to uh, um, kind of connect with it quite easily. But I didn't really like the deck a whole lot. It sort of has a gold, it's gilded, and at the time it just wasn't 
artwork that I liked. It's very old fashioned and it's also, um, you know, it has the pips. So I went out and I bought myself a Rider Waite Smith, just a basic Rider Waite Smith deck, uh, shortly after receiving the Visconti. And I came home and I laid out the Major Arcana just in a big square, right? And I, you know, I hadn't read any books on it. I just wanted to see what my impressions were of the Major Arcana. So I, I put them in order and I, and I looked and I studied them. And, and, and after studying them for a little while, I thought, oh, I see. This is, this is like a death and resurrection story. You know, this is the story that we hear of over and over again, right? Whether it's the Jesus story or uh, the, the sun um, traversed through the wheel of the year. You know, I, I understood, oh, okay, this is the resurrection story. And, and that has uh, stayed with me for my, uh, you know, my time of reading tarot. And anyway, so this was a lot of fun. Thank you very much uh, to Owls, and thanks everyone for watching, and maybe you'll be inspired to do this six-question uh, Q&A as well. So take care out there, everyone. I will see you soon. Bye.